Mic check, mic check. Mic check, check. <laughs> you play any hut though? Ah, uh, I do not. Money in HUD. It really is, dude. The event they have right now is it's like fantasy, so if you have the card and it's portable in real life, it goes up in overall. So it's like because the the idea is it could hit 99 so fast, it's really expensive. You know what yeah, I mean? No, 100%. So it's like the most degenerate event ever. Like you could easily spend like hundreds of dollars for nothing. Like I have Cider, Raymond, um, Jonas Protein, these friend, Matt Deschen, he's been lighting it up. Yeah. So all these random guys, every time they play a game, I'm like checking the score, <laughs> like just to see if they score. Or not. Yeah, shit's expensive. Stay away from Hut. Drains your money. I just hear it all through Pasilla because he spends lots of money on Hut, but he plays yeah. it a shit ton, so I guess it's somewhere worth it for him. I always talk to Pasilla. I talk to Pasilla like. <laughs> He's a, a hardcore hut player. Yeah, he is. He has like 20 accounts, dude. Alright, well, stream is live. Tins will be joining shortly, I believe. Nice. Looks like these guys aren't even close because they're in the second. Yeah, game. yeah, BC's in the game, and I don't even know if St. Cloud has gotten their shit together. They were asking for an ECU for tonight, so. Oh dear, I might have to go you, play for them. You might have to. You might have to leave the broadcast and that's okay. <laughs> Alright, we'll give Hintz a couple minutes. Maybe check in with some Buck to see if he's good to go for tonight. I don't even... Buck is playing on his cell phone? Shit. What's that? I'm telling them if they really need one, I can play. It sounds like Buck's gonna try to play on his cell phone data, which is kind of ratchet. All right, well, I think Pence is gonna lead the play-by-play -play for game one. And then, assuming that goes well, because I don't know if the streams will be synced or not, and that's the only thing. And if not, then maybe you can take over and we'll See how it goes from there. Nice. I actually have to go check something, but right. I'll be back. No worries. All right, while we're waiting, take a look at stuff. Mm -mm. So this is a matchup between number two, Boston College, and number five, St. Cloud. Should be interesting to see. So the, these two teams haven't played each other at all yet this season. They have played in the preseason, and I believe Boston College beat them in the preseason. Just want to take a look and see. Uh, I can't find their games. Well, regardless, we're just waiting right now, guys, because things are running a little bit late. Um, one thing of note, though, when you look at these two teams, that uh, St. Cloud is generally known for their high-flying offense versus Boston College is much more on the opposite end of the spectrum, looking for strong defensive play. Just looking at the the uh, top goal scorers and top point getters here. Bear Bear TV, that's that's a St. Cloud guy. Buck is also a St. Cloud guy. So two out of the top three guys are both from St. Cloud. Now, I don't know if both those guys will be in the lineup tonight. Still waiting to see how that's going to shape out. 
but um, it'll be an interesting clash of styles here. So again, looking at some of the stats here, Boston College in second place. You can see from their goals against average, they are best in the league right now with 15 against, and they have a solid goal differential. Now they don't score a ton of goals, but it doesn't matter because a lot of that has resulted in wins, having a seven and one record with two draws. Um, whereas you look at St. Cloud, they're on the other side of the spectrum here, looking at their goals for, they're basically tied for first in the league here with Michigan. Um, and yeah, they're known for their high flying offense and they've done that with less games played than Michigan. So looking at 12 GPs versus 10. Um, so really like it's tough to say who'd be winning this game. It'll be whoever can make their style work better at work the other team and score more goals. I expect it to be pretty low scoring when it comes to the first game. We'll see how BC is able, if they're able to shut down the, uh, the offense that St. Cloud's bringing. But um, yeah, let's take a look at some of the most recent games. So Boston College has been off to a really good start this season. They've won their last couple games here. There was a forfeit here, but they did sweep the Western Michigan series, 6-3 and then 3-0 for the forfeit. They're doing really, really well. Like they started off strong and have carried it through. Like I just, let me just look at their, yeah, so the- St. Cloud's got a good group too. The uh, UMass from last season, they were a top four team in a very sweaty season. Yep. Yep, and uh, Boston College has been rolling here. They've won the series, the Battle of Boston between BU. Um, they did lose one game here to Long Island. So that was interesting. But other than that, they've just been winning and have a couple of draws. That's about it. The uh, BUBC is called Battle of Calm Ave because they're actually both on the same street. Oh, yeah? Nice. Kind of. Yeah. And then St. Cloud, on the other hand. So they're coming off um, a loss to, to Michigan. They got spanked in their last game 9 nothing. So I'm expecting them to come out flying this game. They're probably a little angry, and I don't blame them. Um, but they've been doing pretty well in the season as well. It really depends on who they've had in their lineup, but they've done well. They've beaten Navy. They've beaten um, Penn State as of recent. Um, and they've split with Long Island. They've, they've, they've had a pretty good record for the most part. They are fifth right now in the, in the league, but uh, it is all pretty tight still. So Six, just wanted to get your point of view here to see what you think is going to happen this game and kind of your thoughts on these two teams. Yeah, I think there's a kind of meta thing going on here, which is that the teams that are more organized and kind of have been around the block for a while are really doing well. So BC is kind of having their shining season here because they're just, they know their guys are going to show up for games. They've got the same guys who played together for a while. I think that gives BC kind of the edge, but St. Cloud, from a pure talent perspective, a lot of really solid players. Uh, so I think you're going to see kind of a clash here of those two differences here. But BC is a very good team in their own right. And I probably edge towards BC, maybe even sweeping this. This key dog thing. Oh my god, I think I might be playing this after all. <laughs> okay, so they're going to need you in here, maybe? Jeez. What a time to get an ECU is for the Spotlight series. You know, you figure that most of the guys would want to play. Well, that just goes back to what I was talking about, right? Like one team, you know, has, I, I don't think Eagles is going to be seeing me, be seeing me for this. He's got his guys good to go. Yeah. But is, is, is Buck good to go? Like I haven't been in contact with him yet since earlier today. We're waiting for Tense to join the broadcast as well. If you guys are listening here on Discord, so my uh, Twitch is live as well, if you want to see some of the visuals to go along with it. Oh, Tense is here. He's in here. Sorry, I just haven't invited him to speak. There we go. I believe I did it. Invite to speak. Oh, I didn't realize I had to accept, had to accept the, the invitation yeah. to speak. <laughs> What's up, Tense? 
learn something new every day. How are you guys doing? doing? Doing good. Good. Trying to get these teams sorted out. It looks like BC's ready to go, but I'm not too sure about St. Cloud. They were talking in the chat about needing an ECU, so that is concerning, to say the least. <laughs> Yeah, a little disappointing for the uh, Spotlight series, but I'm sure they'll find somebody to step in. Yeah, we were sort of half joking that it would be six, but uh, it might actually be six. <laughs> it looks like it actually will be, so good thing we had yeah. So you are confirmed going to be playing with St. Cloud? Yeah, they're, they're sending it, so. Um, well, immediately I like Boston College's odds tonight, <laughs> so oh, we'll uh... <laughs> womp, womp. Just kidding, just kidding. Well, he's got to adapt to a new system and everything, so... Yeah. A lot to work through there, Sex, and... Who knows? Maybe you'll end up being MVP on the night. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll see where I probably defense, actually. Yeah, do they need you for both games, or is it just for game one? Or is that also unclear? I assume it's going to be both. <laughs> <laughs> I was joking that maybe I was thinking that maybe I would uh you know download it and hop on for them and maybe this will be the uh, thing to push me over the edge to get the game but looks like I I can wait another week now thanks to six <laughs> so that's great yeah hey, you got to get on that Black <laughs> Friday sale coming up so I think that oh yeah you'll be able to find it cheaper somewhere I don't know if you're planning to buy the oh, PS4 yeah. version or like the both of them or what but so uh, you know I'm kind of torn because you know. Will we ever move to PS5 this season? If we start on the PS4, all the teams are on PS4, everyone's grinding their PS4 characters. Is PS5 really on the horizon? Or it's it's unclear, or but I'd say unlikely at this point. So yeah. Like, yeah. If we do, you're thinking like... Uh, do you guys really do you really notice a big difference? When I play on PS4, I literally just noticed that my level is low. I haven't noticed yeah. a huge difference. I play both... Like, Okay, like the game itself runs smoother and there's less problems and stuff and like load in times are faster um mm -hmm. graphics are marginally better i'd say um, <laughs> the responsiveness i'd say is a, a tiny bit better but i i don't know i i don't think it's game changing or earth shattering but it it, it might feel different if you were on a ps4 going to a ps5 Maybe, but being on a PS5 playing the PS4 version, I haven't had too many complaints other than, you know, standard glitching of lobbies and such. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess uh, getting that $30 version on Black Friday or whatever is the way to go. <laughs> yeah. You saw that when I posted before? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I couldn't believe it. it's, I don't uh, know if it's 100% accurate, but the PS4 version might be $30 yeah. US come black friday for walmart and possibly other places i feel bad for all those people dropping 100 120 canadian for you know the x factor we won't even use ps5 that's, this uh, season that's gotta be it's rough expensive it's expensive <laughs> yeah those things add yeah. up man those things add yeah, up so i bought it i got i tried to get or uh, maximize my discount as much as i could got ea play got 10 percent off did all that ea play was only a dollar for that month so it was Save me 10 nice. bucks ish that's not bad you know instead of 125 bucks 115 bucks <laughs> yeah for sure for sure uh you guys already talk about these two teams tonight uh very briefly the sort of the uh, the story yeah. of this is offense versus defense to say the least but yeah now given that uh st cloud is having six times in the lineup and they seem to be missing some of their top offensive weapons not too sure what to expect now but it'd be interesting yeah i mean i was looking over the uh the numbers before the game for uh season four and my god k white with the uh 950 save percentage like normally you know all of the uh all of the skills and for video game hockey excuse offense but 95 save percentage is absurd yeah, it's kind of disgusting <laughs> and it's also yeah shows like how good defensively they are as a team because they haven't been allowing too many high danger chances either but at the same time when they have mm -hmm. he's been coming up big yeah i mean you know i i think six and i touched on it last week before you guys took on bu but um you know they've been playing together for a few seasons now so they have that cohesion that some of the other teams that kind of have a lot of transactions 
between seasons don't have. And, you know, I think they're really starting to click. I mean, you're looking at the standings there in what, second place overall with the chance to take over first if they uh, sweep tonight. Yep. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty It's pretty great to see. Um, and, you know, I, I noticed, like, uh, in the games between St. Cloud and Boston College in the past, there's been a lot of offense, a lot of crazy, like, 5-1 games, 9-3 games. So I think... Uh, I think K White's gonna have his work cut out for him for sure. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, hopefully, a lot of offense. Hopefully, something exciting like like last week with the games between uh, BU and Michigan. Yeah, it seems that every game that you do commentary for, we go to overtime. Things are extended. I'm not sure how that'll play out tonight, but it would be nice to see maybe one of the games go to OT, but just one OT. <laughs> and then cut it there. Yeah, I don't think anybody wants to hear f- from us for that long. <laughs> hey, maybe we'll just end it in a draw. Seems to be the trend these days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure, maybe. So, has Michigan played both BC and uh, St. Cloud so far this yep, season? Yep, yep. Uh, we just played yeah. St. Cloud a couple days ago, and so we swept that. Right, series. right. There. Um. Right, you know, right, saying earlier yeah. because their last game played in the league is was a nine nothing loss to to Michigan, so I expect them to be a little bit angry, come out flying in this game and try to get some goals early. Yeah, we'll see. We will see. And then on the other end of the spectrum, um, I gotta go, guys. But I am in this right, game. All right, we'll Perfect see you soon. Time. We'll see you. All right, see you in the game. Have fun, guys. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, yeah. Good luck. What position are you playing, by the way? So we know. All right, he's gone. Oh, he's here, but he's not. <laughs> doesn't <here. laughs> doesn't want to uh, give away any trade secrets to BC before the game. I respect. So I'm it. a little unclear on St. Cloud's actual lineup for tonight. So we'll see as they load in. I guess. Do you have the stream up and ready? Yeah. It hasn't started yet, but BC is searching. Yeah, I have um, I have the one stream. It says offline for me right now. The famous, famous llama stream. Oh, there's a different line. stream now. So it's like it's J Man. Oh. I sent it to you, but uh, here I can send it on uh, Discord if it's easier. Yeah, hit me with that DM. I'm sorry. No, no, it switched three <laughs> times, like within the last like 20 minutes. Okay, let's get a chance. So it's a different llama. The feathered Thank you. llama. Something like that. Oh, okay. So something going on with llamas Not here it. with BC because they're also related. That's another thing to talk about is that this is like a family team. Oh, they're starting to load in right now. Just I'm talking about this. Family affair. Yeah. All right. Okay, so we've got yeah Hockey some cousins and stuff, right? At center, left wing, just a Zach. Six times is on right wing. Tomcat, right cool. D, Legend. Okay, so the rest of that's okay. Six times the right wing. Let's go. All right, so immediately we know because the uh, commissioner's playing right wing for St. Cloud. There's probably, he's probably going to get all the calls. He's going to draw a lot of penalties <laughs> from the referees tonight, so we'll have to keep our eyes out for that. <laughs> I don't know, man. We'll see how it goes. All right, we're loading in here. We'll see what these guys, what these guys got. Yeah, I wonder if it'll be a little messy off the bat there, because the, uh, at least from St. Cloud's side, because these guys haven't played together. So we'll see if BC can sneak in a quick early goal here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Uh... We'll see how it goes. BC should have a good chance to, to get some offense early while everyone's kind of feeling each other out on the St. Cloud side. Um, yeah. So, what are what are some of the tendencies you notice between these two teams, like uh, having played them both, like St. Cloud and BC? So you'll see BC are doing a lot of dumping, um, and getting in on the four check, trying to force turnovers. Whereas you'll see okay. with. Um, St. Cloud, they like to control, have controlled zone entries, try to go for okay. more run and gun style off the rush, and a lot of down low jam plays. So in the corners, they'll try to work it 
in front of the net and just jam away at it, kind of quick give and goes, or just try to force it through guys and jam away for rebounds. Nice. Well, we'll see uh, which strategy wins tonight. Looks like BC will take the opening draw, but puck goes right to St. Cloud. Look at their commissioner six times with the giveaway early. You hate to see it from the ECU. <laughs> <laughs> we got Ajab bringing the puck in now at right wing. Back to Dylan. Shots blocked. St. Cloud trying to rotate around the boards. Getting out of the zone. Tomcats a 6-6 six, six with the pass. And then bumped off the puck. BC going back the other way with Eagles fan over to Ajab. Left wing behind the net. Loses the puck. Back to Legend. Six times again. Look at them. Feature the offense tonight. From the bleachers. I might go as far to say that six times is going to pop at least one goal here tonight. <laughs> I, uh, you know, looks like he's got that juice skating with the St. Cloud team. We might see a signing in the near future. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looked like BC almost got a breakaway there, but uh, St. Cloud was able to recover quickly. Yeah, it was a good hold by, I believe, Tomcat. BC with another tie-up off the draw, and they get out of the zone quick. Ajab carrying the puck over. Back over to right D. Eagles fan at center. Trying to make some magic behind the net. Nothing doing. Back up to Dylan, and there's a little deflection. We saw that working uh, against Michigan, actually, last week. There was a couple of tips. Oh, yeah, they, they love their tips, point shot tips. Like I was saying before, they'll, yeah. they'll dump it in and then they'll try to work it to the point and send guys in front. You'll see Odd Job, that big body there, standing in front of the net looking for tips all game. Playing that Cecil Pretty role. Pretty much, yeah. Power forward. For, for those Michigan fans. Yeah. <laughs> we'll also see a lot of that. Little J-Man, Curl, Drag, and Snipe. We're seeing the high slot yeah, snipes yeah. all night from Green here on BC. St. Cloud wanting to see one more, giving the puck to J-Man in the slot, but he's unable to convert. We got six times again carrying the puck in. Look at these zone entries by this guy. Somehow that pass got through. Another chance stopped by uh, K. White. And now we got Ajab again bringing it in. See if he wraps it. Nope, he throws it right on net. Looking for a rebound. Six times again with the puck. And that's icing. Oh, nope. Nope, they want it. And here comes uh, Flyers fan for, or sorry, J-Man for uh, BC. The eye job, now the Eagles fan. Eagles fan poking it, getting the puck down to eye job. Eye job, holding the puck in the corner, trying to bring it out front. Shot deflected. And it goes in the corner, so St. Cloud can break out once again. Looks like St. Cloud's trying to dump play. Just, ooh, Keep big hit down. in the corner. Flyers fan getting laid out. Eagles fan. J-Man. Lot on the boards. Trying to find Ajab, I believe. Not there. Ajab trying to go to the point. Battling for the puck. Eagles fan to J-Man. But... Hey dog is up to the task in that stopping. Yeah, flight. that was really close there. J-Man was looking for that one-timer. Eagles fan trying to find him, but couldn't quite get it. Good defensive play by, I believe, six times there. Mish coming up clutch for St. Cloud. Story of the night so far. Six losing the puck on the boards, but poking it off. Battle behind the BC net for the puck. Six times, comes up with it again. Little L2 action from the commish. Going back down low. Ends up back on Eagles fan stick. J-Man coming back out. Puts it deep. Looking for Ajab. Who gets the puck. Back up to right D. Here's a wrister. Gets blocked. There's about six guys in front. St. Cloud trying to make that little sauce work. Instead, it'll be icing. And already, we're down to 153 in the first period. Now that's come by really fast. Like I can't say there's been a ton of chances either way, but a couple of almost maybes. Yep. Almost maybes. The story of the night so far. And there we go. J-Man with the one T. 
That was a definite. That was 100% for sure. Beauty goal. BC striking early, just like you predicted, Coach. Yeah, no, this is a great goal here. They win the draw, send it down low, and then immediately send it into the slot there for J-Man with his patent at 1T. What a beaut. Ajab bringing the puck down low again, looking for J-Man, and oh boy. Oh, and he's going back to back. J-Man, he's just on fire from pretty Wait much the exact same spot as last goal. Where did we see that goal before? About 30 <laughs> seconds ago. I think he might have been maybe a foot and a half <laughs> yeah, lower towards say, the net. I think but he wow. was a foot closer, <laughs> but uh, the result yeah. is the same. <laughs> now, uh, if you're St. Cloud, like he's the guy that you've got to really look out for. He, he's their number one sniper for sure. So um, right now, how much do you think this was six times his fault so far? About all of it? I'd say probably all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, obviously. Ribbing on the commission a little bit, our longtime broadcast partner, just having some fun. So BC with the two late goals, uh, up two nothing right now. That's uh, that's what you said. You, that's what like we talked about early on uh, before the game. Just their cohesion and they've been playing together. Sin Cloud with this lineup that you know has an ECU coming in. A little gap in the coverages and BC is able to strike quickly twice. And I'm sure K White's appreciating the goal support down in BC at the other end. Only one shot allowed so far for BC. That's uh, uh, K White will take that any day of the week. Yeah, and like honestly, you're seeing a feeling out process here for St. Cloud. Like they haven't, they, they haven't looked bad in my opinion, but they just haven't strung enough passes together. They've kind of got some sort of zone entries, trying to get it low, but haven't really made a dangerous scoring chance out of it. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. I mean, you know, you saw Six carrying the puck in for some zone entries sometimes, but like, you know, and they, they did have 133 time and attack in the first, but only one shot to show for it. So hopefully they can connect on some more passes and get some more offense going this period. We'll see. Off the opening draw, it looks like Eagles fan comes up with the puck. Looks like BC in a bit of a regroup, trying to dump the puck in. See if they get some pressure on the St. Cloud D. They do, but goes to the other defenseman, Tomcat. Skating it up, looking for the long pass. Unfortunately, bounces off the stick. Odd job taking the puck down low again. Tomcat trying to get it out out of the front of the, uh, the St. Cloud net. Now the puck's just bouncing like a beach ball. Not sure why. We got Legend recovering it. St. Cloud finally getting it out six times. Ooh, good play. And that's what we need to see more from St. Cloud. Six times, centering the 1T. Things were looking good. Yeah, it was a great play there by That's... Tamish. Should have been a goal, but yeah. shot went wide over the net. Yeah, tough break for St. Cloud. But it looks like they're getting some momentum off that. We got BC coming the other way. Eagles fan looking for an option. Gets poked. We might have a breakaway here. Just Zach, and he nets it. Great goal there. It was kind of a mini what two a on O there almost. And just Zach was like, uh uh, I want it. I think he wanted to atone for his 1T attempt uh, <laughs> that happened about a minute and a half ago. And yeah, what's your opinion on those? Do you uh, feel like that you should try to go for the pass or take it yourself? It's a really tight decision to make there in that time. I usually pass it, honestly, and I probably shouldn't say that on stream, but um, I usually pass it. Um, you know, I don't know. If I have the puck, like, I don't mind setting somebody up for the goal. I know, coach. I know you want to get all the goals. So you you would take it, triple deke it, like the other guy wasn't even there. I I've seen you skate right out in front of me and uh, just go for the breakaway. So. Sometimes you know it, it feels like the safer play, especially when you're that close to each other. Like my fear is always that the yeah. pass is too strong and it just goes right through the guy. Well, especially in this game, right? With the uh, with how the passes uh, are. Hundred uh, percent. I was talking to Six about this last week. It's a little different. Ooh, almost a break for J Man, but. St. Cloud clears it out. Yeah, I'd say that's a lucky break there for St. Cloud. They got caught sleeping there defensively. Yeah. Ooh, a another sloppy play by BC through the neutral zone. I think sometimes, uh, you know, as players, you kind of get a little confused whether you want to dump it or pass it, and sometimes you make that decision a little too late. We'll keep an eye on that. Maybe St. Cloud gets another goal in transition. 
Yeah, I wonder if it's also a little bit of like they know that there's an ECU in the lineup. Maybe they're playing a little bit looser than they normally would. So we'll see how this plays yeah. out. Yeah. I mean, those two quick goals sometimes does that to a team too, yeah, 100%. right? percent Six times trying to make something happen, but it's going back the other way with the odd job. A little curl. Trying to get a puck on that. Weak shot, but there's Eagles fan for the rebound. And look at that. Next thing you know, it's 3 1. Oh, this is a great job. You can see the odd job just carries it into the zone, super slow motion like, but can't lose the puck when he's that big and strong. Sends it on net. Eagles fan just taps in the, the loose puck. Yeah, another tough break for St. Cloud. He had two guys right by Eagles fan, but Eagles fan comes up with the puck and puts it home, and now uh, they face a two-goal deficit again. Yeah, unfortunately, there's not much that the uh, St. Cloud Tendy could have done on that one. Like, maybe desperation save, but it seemed like as soon as that rebound came out, there was not much he could do. Yeah, no. That one's definitely not on uh, K-Dog. Or K-Dog. I, I don't know. We're going to go with K-Dog. Dog. At first I thought it was cat dog. There's no T. Uh, so a dog. Uh, I'd go with cat dog too. <laughs> Ooh, Eagles fan off the bat, just disrespecting cat dog. That was, that was a little cheeky there. A little. Yeah, yeah. Sure. He saw. Oh. He saw some room. He might not have deserved it, but he saw some room, threw it off his back, and it rolled yeah, down. Did it hit him like the back of the neck and just kind of rolled down? I think it was like the back of the shoulder, yeah, and it went straight up. Um, All right, St. Cloud's got to um, lock it down here because this could get away from them in a hurry. It's already 4-1 right now in the second period. Yeah. Yeah, I think... Um, they really got to tighten up their D a little bit and hopefully generate some chances in the BC zone. We haven't really seen too much besides that uh, 2 on 0 goal they scored earlier this period. J-Man back the other way though, and now it's a 2 on 1 with Eagles fan. Tried to take it himself. And now St. Cloud's coming the other way on a 2 on 2, but it gets poked off 6 and now we have offside. So, yeah, I mean... BC right now just carrying the play. An Eagles fan toying with the uh, St. Cloud goaltender to make it 4-1. to one. <laughs> I bet he can't score that nine times out of ten there. Try that over and over again. <laughs> Don't see that going in very often. Uh, success rate, you know, sometimes doesn't dictate shot selection. <laughs> you can... You can sit, look at my uh, penalty kill goal shot attempts. <laughs> from down the ice. <laughs> this is true. For, this for is that. true. Yeah. <laughs> it is still an effective way to get a shot on net, and maybe uh, St. Cloud may want to adopt that strategy right now. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure what the shots on goal are right now, but it does not seem great for St. Cloud. If I had to guess, I think St. Cloud's up to three shots, maybe four yeah. tops um, for the game so far. Well, let's see where we sit so. after two, but... Get another look here at Eagles fans' little cheeky goal. A little flicker Rooney here. Ah, such a rough feeling for the goalie. I mean, you got your blocker on it or your arm on it and it just goes right down your back. It's like, what are you going to do? Yeah, it's, he didn't Sometimes even, the game's puck physics just don't make yeah, sense. Yeah, and he didn't really come <laughs> off the post that much. Like, I don't know. I thought he probably deserved that save, but... Hey, hey, look, you called it. Three shots on yeah, and not there for St. Cloud. I did. So, I mean, if you're St. Cloud, the good news is you have 50% shot percentage that, that period. <laughs> but the bad news is uh, you only had two shots in 25 seconds time on well, attack. Also tripled their shot count, you know, depends how you look at it. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not too shabby. Yeah. Well, there's always a silver lining, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right, they got to get some shots so yeah. on net here because they are struggling on the zone entry. Like, kudos to BC, though. They do a really good job of holding the line and making it difficult. But they're going to have to either do, go for quick counterattacks or just dump it in and just just work in the cycle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, I mean, you know, I think we've talked about this too before, but just, like, your best defense sometimes is just spending time in the other team's zone. 
where you don't give him any chances. You don't even have to get a great shot on goal, but as long as you're spending time and making, like, havoc. Yeah, totally agree. It's much better than trying to defend the whole game. Yeah. Looks like Eagles fan was going for that same shot again. He might know something <laughs> that we don't. J-Man now with the turnover, and he puts it home with a nice snipe, and that, I believe, is a hat-trick for the J-Man. Well, J-Man, early, early contender here for MVP of the series with a hat-trick in the opening game. Comes in, picks off the pass, and just rips it home, bar down. Yeah, I mean, you know. Not too much to say. He just just walked in like he owned the place and just put it top corner. And uh, Kadog wasn't up for the task. Yeah, it was a very j Manny type of goal. Come across and rip it. <laughs> Here comes BC once again, but St. Cloud able to get out of it. I see holding R1 for the speed boost still works. Yeah, I'm not sure if it actually does, but you know, if you think it does, <laughs> then it does. <laughs> Top to battle. We got a uh, power play coming up. See if St. Cloud can take some advantage of that with a. Uh, I believe it's Flyers fan off the ice, so BC shorter defenseman right now. It looks like six times kind of got a shot on that there. You know, he's been looking like the most dangerous one on the ice so far for St. Cloud. Yeah, BCU being uh, the St. Cloud MVP so far. J-Man again out hustling the uh, St. Cloud D, but loses the puck to St. Cloud. They come the other way. Just that up to Topsanovich. Six times probably calling for the puck up there. What a shot block there Said by Odd Job. <laughs> Odd Job giving up the big body and making a big play on the PK. You love to see it. Ooh, got to be careful with that stick. And there's a shot on that for sure. And guess who that was yet Cloud. again. <laughs> Looks like our boy Six, six Times. times. Saint Six are calling him up there. <laughs> uh. Uh, job with the clear. St. Cloud's got 15 seconds to figure out a power play goal. Just Zach gets leveled by Odd Job. Odd Job takes a little bump but still maintains possession. Dylan with the shot. Eagles fan holding the puck, trying to make a play. Back up to Dylan. Back down to Eagles fan. Rips it. Gets blocked. Gets the puck back. Was looking for the wrap, I believe, but lost control back in the neutral zone. BC dumps it right back in. Ajab gets the puck, looking for J-Man. Goes up to lefty. Low deflection off the post, and it's loose, and it's still loose, and it's still loose. St. Cloud comes up with it. Topsanovich decides not to pass the six times. Passes it low, or was that a shot? Either way, it goes wide. BC with possession once again, trying to get the puck out of the zone. Dylan... On the fourth pass attempt, I think it finally got the Eagles fan. Over to Flyers fan. Flyers fan, a little turnover there. Just Zach coming in, and that's a snipe, too. Look at wow, that. Wow, great shot there. Who was that, Just Zach? Just Zach with the J-Man impression. Sniping home the goal to make it 5-2. to two. And again, BC a little bit sloppy in the neutral zone there, and it cost them. That's about the only time St. Cloud so far has been able to generate any type of offense. Yeah, and although they didn't get the power play goal, like, they got the goal because of the power play. So they're getting that momentum afterwards and just I mean, causing some turnovers and getting some life here. So they can pop another one. They've got a game yep. here. Got that famed uh, Tints Overtime stream coming at you. <laughs> <laughs> if they can generate a couple more goals here. But right now it's BC coming back down the ice. We've got J-Man looking for Ajab in the slot. K-Dog up to the task. Odd job back behind the net. St. Cloud comes back up with it to Tomsonovich. Over to Zach, offside. 6 to 11 left. I feel like St. Cloud should call the timeout. They might need some energy. Yeah, it's got to be coming at some point. I feel like maybe if they get one more goal here, all they need is a six times hat sure. trick and they're back in this. <laughs> with the way Just Zach's been sniping, they might want to yeah. look to him. <laughs> <laughs> Six times coming up. Oh, Tom Sonovich, I'm sorry. Legends. 
So, um, is that a natural rotation, or is six times just telling Topsanovich to play up, and six will take D in the offensive zone? Because that's the second time we saw Topsanovich down low. Is J-Man once again sniping from the slot? St. Cloud hasn't found an answer for this. Yeah, another patented uh, oh, J-Man snipe. Fourth goal of the game for J-Man, I believe, to make it six to two. Oh, this was a great goal here. Find some space. J-Man just creates his own space, gets to the high slot, gets to his spot, really, and rips it left side this time. Goalie might have been thinking he was going to go back right, as he did for the last goal, but deceptive. It's hard to tell which way he's going to shoot. That's why he gets paid the yeah. big bucks. <laughs> well, three minutes left in this one. It seems like this is all but done. So I wouldn't say there's going to be any overtime here, but if, if you're St. Cloud, you know, like, what do you think's going on in that in that party of theirs right now? They're probably not too thrilled. I <laughs> wonder if it's dead silent or if there's some anger going on there. But I mean, it has to be frustrating. The last two games you played getting outscored. 15 to 2 aggregate so far. That's true. That's true. Yeah, that's got to be tough. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you know, obviously with their lineup issues before the game, they were in a tough spot. And we knew BC was, has been playing fantastic hockey all season. So it was going to be a tall order. We'll see if they can b bounce back. I mean, you know. Maybe BC uh, takes their foot off the gas a little bit next game because they've been getting the offense so easily, which is something, frankly, they're not familiar with. You know, I think they only had 29 goals for coming in. They're really enjoying shooting on K-Dog right now as uh, Eagles fan pots his seventh. So now, what is it, 16-2 to two in the last two games? Yeah, that's a bit rough. That's tough. That's a bit rough, that's but tough. it was a nice shot there. It seems that Eagles fan likes to shoot from that spot there. J-Man's got the slot, Eagles fan got below the hash marks. We can get another look at it, here we go. Same shot, basically. I think this is what he was trying to do on the last goal, where he got that lucky bounce yeah. in, but, you know, goal's a goal, 7-2. See if we can see some Yeah, that, that was a hat trick for uh, Eagles fan. Yeah, give us something. Oh boy, eight well, to they two gave now. Us something. It was another goal. <laughs> yeah. Odd job now. Scoring once again. So BC coming into this game had 29 goals for. They've now almost got a third of it in this game. They're up to 37 now. So almost a fifth of their goals in the season has come this game so far. Crazy. Well, it looks like it's going to be a late power play here. Definitely some frustration setting in here for St. Cloud, and I do not blame them. <laughs> it wasn't even the hit that was called. It was a trip, so a rough night gets even rougher. <laughs> I think that was just Zach that's gone to the box now. Yep. Yep. St. Cloud just dumping it down, trying to get this game to end. I'm sure BC wants to try to get one more goal just to uh, boost those numbers. Yeah, they do opt for the dump. Though. Have... That might be a bit of a mercy yeah, play. Correct. I don't think so, because they're being hit behind the net and they set up their left defenseman. <laughs> Flyers fan on the board. Not sure what uh, Capdog was doing there. He's swimming there. Swimming there down on the ice. <laughs> gave him 90% of the net to shoot at. I, uh, yeah. I don't know if you uh, mentioned before the game that BC doesn't have a score in the top 10, but I think they're trying to change that right <laughs> yeah, now with I this game. Let's see if they get one up. more. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. What is going on in that pile of people? <laughs> J-Man denied by the outside of the net before uh, before the buzzer mercifully sounds for St. Cloud. 
Yeah, look at that. A four goal night by J Man. Another hat trick. Couldn't see who that was. I imagine it was Eagles. That was. Yeah, that was Eagles. Six points for J Man on the night. An early candidate for uh, MVP of the evening. Wow. Well, good news here. St. Cloud actually got some more shots going. I feel like that power play got them going, but then they kind of quickly fell apart after that goal. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> True. After that third period was I meant brutal. after they scored their second goal. Yeah, yeah, there was yeah. a lot of goals to go That's through fair. there. There was. Uh, yeah. But wow, I got some of the replays here stored. Hopefully I can show them. But, wow. Um, don't know what to say about that. That was a, uh, not what I expected. Like, I know that St. Cloud's missing some of their top guys. Yes, that is true. I just didn't expect it to be such a blowout, especially when it comes to BC. Like, they haven't, they're not known for their heavy offense, but yet... Tonight they are. Tonight they are. I mean... It was, a, it was tough. It was a tough one for St. Cloud. BC coming in, you know, they've, they've been a hot team. I think they had, what, nine goals on 18 shots. You saw the one-timers. You saw the breakaways. You saw, you saw the pressure. You saw the snipes. Uh... You know, St. Cloud has been giving out, not giving out, giving up a lot of goals in the season. Um, so you knew defensively, BC might be able to take advantage. But again, nine goals is, is a lot for any team. I don't care how bad the defense is. Yeah, I like, I don't even think like Cat Dog or Cat Dog is really to blame for most of those. Like, some of them were clean looks, some of them were rebounds. Surprisingly, none of them were tips, but uh, they did try to go for those, and then. Couple of them were just really good snipes yeah. there by J Man, and uh, when he gets to his spots, you get to that that the middle of the high slot there. You really just gotta pick a side of which side he's gonna shoot on, and you guessed wrong on a couple of them. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's only so much the goalie can do. <laughs> if guys are gliding through this the slot, uh, waiting to snipe the puck, you can't blame the goalie for sure. Yeah. Well. Let's see what's in store here for game number two. Hopefully there is a game number two. It does feel like the morale has taken a bit of a hit there for St. Cloud, but hopefully they can get it out, show up, and maybe they'll win game two. Maybe they will. Anything can happen on the uh, the Spotlight Series games. We'll see. I mean, I think uh, I think the biggest thing for for uh, St. Cloud is just tightening up their uh, D zone a little bit and uh, hopefully catching a couple breaks on the uh, offensive zone entries, making some good things happen. We'll see. Yeah, like adjustment wise, we'll you know, they really got to clamp down on um, on J Man. Like he seems to be their spark plug on the BC side, and you know, you know when he gets it, he's he's looking to get open for a shot so if they can try to limit him try to keep him on his backhand maybe force him that way then he won't be able to get that shot and just be just accept that you know they'll have to they'll have to use somebody else to try and get those shots off yeah and you also had a what was it odd job with five apples i believe five assists one goal five assists so that big man was making some plays you got to try to figure out a way to shut him down and get the puck off his stick i think yeah it looks like for game number two odd job will be coming out on right wing we're getting siempa pronounced champa which i never knew and yeah. he's been in the league for how many seasons but we're gonna i do like champa better <laughs> than siempa i do too i do too <laughs> but hey you know you learn you learn something new every day <laughs> It does look like that. Oh, no, there's one more change. Laco is coming in on right D for Dylan, I believe that was. Okay. Are we sure that's not Lakio? Lakio, it could be. Lakio. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the emphasis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Champa. I, I would never have guessed that in a million years. That's for yeah, sure. like, I feel like that's there should sure. be an H, but I mean, I, yeah. <laughs> maybe it's Italian. <laughs> 
It depends on the language, I guess, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see uh, if St. Cloud swaps anybody else in, too. Yeah, I I hope they do, but also at the same time, Six <laughs> Times was saying that they would need him for both games, which makes me feel they don't have anybody else coming. Yeah. But I mean, it's unfortunate because I, I know St. Cloud is a good team when they have all their guys, and mm -hmm. like, we've we've seen it. I've seen it. Like Bear Bear, Dangler, they're both high offensive guys. Bear Bear's at the top of the league right now in terms of scoring. I think for both goals and assists, mm -hmm. or he's very close on on both of them, if not having both of them. But uh, he he can't be in the lineup today. Um, Dangler, I haven't seen in a lineup in a in a little while. And uh, they have a couple of other guys that were playing in the series against Michigan that were also very solid, but haven't seen them in the lineup either. So. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously you're hoping your best players are available and able to hop in for you, and sometimes that's just not the case. We'll see if they can bounce back. Hopefully, uh, after three periods under his belt for six, he can uh, mesh with his line mates a little bit, and we can see some offense from the St. Cloud side to uh, answer back and uh, get the ball roll rolling a little bit for them. Yeah, and I, I thought six times played great. You know, for supposed to be doing the broadcast here with us, and called in last second to be an ECU, and didn't even know what position he was going to be playing, didn't know who's going to be playing <laughs> with, and you know he he was a factor out there. Like when he had the puck, he did look dangerous. For sure, he was for making sure. some plays. Yeah. But um, you know, put into a tough situation. Let's see if St. Cloud can make the best of it here for game two. Definitely. So Cat Dog says his name is Ah Dog, in. Cat dog, okay. You just put many A's. I'm not sure if that's just <laughs> cat dog, cat dog, cat dog, cat dog, not cat dog, <laughs> cat dog, <laughs> cat dog. <laughs> All righty, we're loading back in uh, here. Let's see, just Zach still in here. Tomcat on right wing. Okay, so six times does come out of the lineup here. So Tomcat okay. is right wing now, and. Who's that? Morph? We'll call you Morph on right <laughs> now. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see if this makes a difference. It is a one for one swap with a little bit of a position swap here. BC yeah. swapped out two guys, so see how that goes as well. See what Champa can do. Who's on a right D for? We're gonna go with Saint Cloud for Saint Cloud. And then, and then lefty legend. is a uh, still legend. Legend, right, right, right. Same okay. tendy, right, right. same center, same left wing, and then Tomcat moved from right D up to right wing. Okay, okay. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if that shakes up the uh, lineup and gets things going for St. Cloud. Okay to continue with the play-by-play? -play? Yeah, no problem, man. BC now in the white, St. Cloud in the black unis. Wins the draw. Legend with the shot gets deflected on the way, and look at that! The lineup change works, just that. Quick goal. Wow, and this is what we were talking about. Like, will it make a difference? And right off the bat, they get to move in the puck Quickly send it down in front of the net from the low slot there for a little jam tapped in, in the back door. Great job there by St. Cloud. Who was it that got that finish? I believe it was just Zach off the uh, setup from Tomcat and Crozier. 
Just Zach trying to attack once again. Hockey man Isaac with the puck. Pass, unfortunately, to no one out of the zone. St. Cloud needs to regroup. Oh, boy. Tomcat coming back for St. Cloud. Legend dangling. Look at the confidence of St. Cloud. Yeah, they, they look like a completely different team. Like, I know it's just the first couple of shifts, but, I mean, I like what I've seen from St. Cloud so far. It was a good response. I mean, I think we were a little bit concerned with uh, how they how they answer after the 9-2 uh, loss, but they're coming right back. Hockey Maniac putting the puck down low. Eagles fan gets hit by three. I don't know what the St. Cloud mascot is. Three clouds, Husky, we'll say. Please. Converging. Huskies, okay. <laughs> J-Man trying to answer for BC. A little stutter step, bringing it low, centering, but St. Cloud there. Morph making the play. Tomcat bringing the puck in. Loses it. Eagles fan trying to set up a breakout, but Hockey Maniac coming back with it. Wombo up to Eagles fan. Legend takes the puck back. Looking for a breakout. Maniac up to Zach but that gets broken up. And now we got Champa. Up to Eagles fan, up to J-Man. J-Man trying to snipe Eagles fan on the doorstep, but can't harness that puck. Just Zach, carrying it back out for St. Cloud. Legend, back to Zach. Trying the far snipe, but K. White's up to the task and makes the save for the whistle. Already, I mean, man, St. Cloud, Cloud looking like completely different team. Yeah, I really like the uh, the pace they're playing with, too. Like, they're moving it quick and up and down quick, and they're not spending a ton of time in their zone. Another rip off the draw for St. Cloud, but K. White with the stop. J-Man bringing it up one on two, trying to find the room for that snipe, but St. Cloud learning from last game. Two men in front of that shot. Helping out their goalie, Kadal. Nope. Oh, and just Zach with the snipe. It's another. We've been seeing that all it's night. It's very J-Man-esque. He must be their J-Man equivalent here because he's yeah. scored a couple times with that exact little glide and yeah. snipe. Great shot there by just Zach. Beats K-White glove side, giving St. Cloud the 2-0 lead. And all of a sudden, if you're BC, you're like, what's going on? We had the early twos at lead last game. Unfamiliar territory for BC right now. Six Game times man is trying the to six times Sorry, is back. Back in the booth. Six times yeah. is the problem. <laughs> hey, I thought you played great. We were talking about it. I thought that you actually were one of the most dangerous yeah. players on the ice for them, so. Yeah, you had some nice zone entries. A little bit, but I don't think I did that well. I definitely it was, it don't was a tough think game. you were the reason why you guys lost. Like, uh, yeah, I'm definitely not taking full credit. So no. Don't try to hang that on yourself at all. So. Yeah, there's only yeah, so I, much. I talked uh... to my therapist, and we were all <laughs> that was some mom issues too. Well, glad to have you back in the booth here. It's. Uh... Oh yes. Yeah. So how did it go from your point of view? Yes. And, and what was it like in the party, or were you in the party? Would you I call it a party? party? Yeah. After a certain time. Well, some kind of party. Yeah. I don't know. Not all parties are fun. Party. It was it was <laughs> as uh, it was as what you'd expect. You know, it was terrible, but I definitely got over psyched for the same most of Yeah, you know, we tried our best, I felt like. And uh, you know, this is a good team. So, right? Yeah, they definitely are. They definitely are. They definitely showed it game one. They've got good shape and when you have a messy kind of team like that where people are getting filled in last second and Maybe not everybody's on their A game for that one, and then get some weird bounces too. You know, I just felt like yeah, uh, and I mean obviously I think spiraled towards the end of the third period. It was only four two, and then BC had a bunch of late ones. Yeah. So yeah, there was kind of a this the score wasn't all, but... quite as bad as it indicated. Yeah, by the end of it, it just felt like yeah. everything went in, no matter what it was. Yeah. Keep your head up, kid. I think I think you guys were a little bit deflated out there for sure. But, Saint Cloud uh, is definitely a much better team than we saw in that first game. Yeah, being able to I mean, do that here. Yeah, they've they've answered in a big way this game. You know, I, I wasn't sure how they were going to respond. You know, given their last two games, but you know, they're coming out like a completely different team in this game. Yeah, I am a little disappointed we didn't get to see any Harry B in the lineup. So 
I heard that he might be out of town, uh, so that's, that's tragic. the reason, but was looking forward to that. <laughs> so, uh, I know we like to play this game now. I think BC has three shots tops this period, maybe only two. Not a lot, not enough time if you're BC in, in the uh, St. Cloud zone. Yeah, I feel like BC had a couple of good shifts where they were, you know, getting shots, getting the rebounds, but uh, St. Cloud's been a lot better at cleaning that up quickly and getting it out when, when they're off to races. Yeah. So I feel like their transition play has been a lot better. Yeah, I mean, you saw J-Man try to come in for a snipe and you saw two St. Cloud players blocking that shot, so... Obviously, they took some notes from game one and made some adjustments. But yeah, there you, there you go, coach. Nailed it again. Three shots for BC. Three um, shots. There we go. Yeah. Oh, and just the name yeah. correction. It's not Morph. It is Murph. I got the wrong vowel. Just went for it. <laughs> it is an X, so it could have been Marf. <laughs> <laughs> so that's when you use the X, man. We don't know. We fill it in with anything. <laughs> anything Is there a movie thing? called Morph or something coming out? Like Animorphs? I feel like that's the Morph. Oh, it's a Mighty, Morph, yeah. uh, Morph and Power Rangers. <laughs> You should consider changing it to Morph, Murph. <laughs> like Murph, Murph, Morph. Morph, Morph and Murph. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, BC looking for that uh, J-Man 1T. Almost got it. But uh, K-Dog is up to the top. It's K-Dog. It's K-Dog. K-Dog. Sorry. K-Dog. <laughs> J-Man taking the fuck back out again. Bringing it in, gets the snipe on net, but K-Dog <laughs> <laughs> makes a stop. Gets the whistle. Well, K-Dog <laughs> is a legend. It's already instantly more fun in the booth with the year six. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eagles fan behind the St. Cloud net, trying to find a play. Nothing doing. Gets it back up to the point. St. Cloud coming back the other way. Eagles fan thought about shooting it on K White, but thought better of it. Um, up to Laco, up to Eagles fan. Down low. J Man trying to dig that puck out of the corner, but Tomcat. Gets the puck, unfortunately, the pass misconnects, but it doesn't look like it's icing. So here comes BC back the other way. Laco to Chapa, up to J-Man. Murph Champa. with the breakout to Maniac. Ooh, my little dangle, little God, snipe. What a Ooh. shot. Hockey Maniac Dang with the dangle, and here we are. That was a great outlet pass there by Murph, sending it with some sauce. Murph. Hitting his man, and it was an Austin Matthews toe drag snipe bar down. Pretty that goal. That was a nasty goal. Wow. Three nothing St. Cloud. Who would have thought? You went inside outside on that yep. demon. It's a great move. We'll see if BC has any response. Trying to generate something in the St. Cloud zone. J Man circling, looking for that. A little snipe up top, but Kadog up to the yeah, challenge. Looks like J-Man was watching where uh, Eagles fan was shooting from last game and trying to get one of those to go <laughs> yep. again. Uh, it's a little tougher on the back end, I feel <laughs> yeah. like. Murph with the bank pass, but unfortunately Aleko intercepts. Tomcat trying to get the breakout going. On Eagles fan stick, tries to do a little... Forehand, backhand, forehand, but doesn't fool Cutoff. Wow, it seemed like last game everything was going in, but now like Cutoff's really just settled in and making big saves. Yep. And BC finds the answer off the draw, just like Maybe that. Maybe I shouldn't have said it. Flyers fan there. from the point. <laughs> Uh, Dobe breaking hot dogs <laughs> shutout streak at uh, 31 minutes. At least minutes I didn't say seconds. the word. I was thinking it, so maybe <laughs> that's why this happened. But I mean, you know, a D to D clapper. It wasn't tipped. It didn't look like so. No. But 
little traffic in front though for BC and uh, they'll take that goal off the face off. Yeah, that was a very BC-esque team goal there. If it's not J-Man sniping, it's a lot of that point shots tipping or just point shots scoring. Pink Cloud trying to answer once again. Unfortunately, the pass misconnects. Kadog giving it to Murph. Murph behind the St. Cloud net. Up to Jussack. Jussack trying to make a move. Puts it around the boards. Unfortunately, no one there for St. Cloud. We got Flyers fan over to Laco. We got J-Man bringing it in. Trying to find that snipe. Kadog, pad save. Eagles fan in the corner behind the net. Looking for a play up to Laco. Laco with a rip, gets blocked in front. Maniac loses it, but legend there for St. Cloud. We got Tomcat bringing in the zone, looking for the snipe, not there, poked off his stick, and then off of Laco's stick into the net. Um, looks like that BC puck luck has gone St. Cloud's <laughs> way. It really has, like this was a poke goal. It just a little bit of luck, but also some skill there by Tomcat to just time that perfectly. And K White just moved out of the way, and timing was perfect there for St. Cloud. Yep, that's one uh, K White's gonna want to have back. That's for sure. Murph off the boards. J Man bringing it in. Keep your head up, kid. Trying to find Eagles fan. Eagles fan trying to shoot. Murph up to Tomcat. Up to Zach. Both defensemen back for BC though to make the play. We got five minutes left in the second. J Man bringing it up the left wing. Trying to find his snipe. Not there. Kampa off the back of the net. Eagles fan has the puck. Laco, J Man, Eagles fan. What a save by Kadog. Save there. I thought that was a goal for sure. I was about ready to say 4 2. And just like that. <laughs> we keep doing it. We keep doing it. <laughs> Willing this energy into the universe, BC scores once again. I believe that one was deflected. I think that was Eagles fan in front. Two basically from that same team, man. Mm -hmm. Wires fan really feeling uh, his clapper tonight. Generating some offense. Offensive defenseman award from a couple seasons ago looked good. Yeah, he was pretty much uncontested there. He was able to walk right off the boards and just get to his spot and clap it home. Oh my oh. god, that was a beauty little pass there by a Eagles fan behind the back over to J-Man. Very cheeky Ooh. play. J-Man with the one D clap. And just like that, it's a one goal game. BC really clawing its way back into this. Here we go, maybe we'll get that OT we've been talking about. <laughs> if I'm on the broadcast, it's almost a guarantee. J-Man trying to snipe, almost goes in. Kadog with the big stop. Tomcat right now trying to bring the puck up for St. Cloud, but we're just like that, back the other way. J-Man looking for Chapa. Kadog's there. I don't think Chapa got all of that. But more BC pressure. Ice is really tilted this period. The BCs look really good. They're moving it well, getting, getting the shots that they want, and yeah, they're just banging home some goals. Haddock really got to hold his team in it right now, try to get out of this period here with a one goal lead. Hopefully that didn't just jinx yes. it, but we'll see right off this draw. <laughs> uh, you heard it here first, it's dope. Here it comes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Luckily the St. Cloud D is there to block the play by J-Man. Eagles fan behind the net, time winding down the period. One more clap from Flyers fan, that gets blocked. And that should do it. There we go. I am not the curse. Confirm. <laughs> not that time, you're not. You know, the first uh, the first half of that period was all St. Cloud, but BC uh, came right back into this game. Huge response. They were down 4-1. Now it's a 4-3 game. J-Man once again showing off that 1-T. Flyers fan from the point getting some timely clappers. We're going to be in for a treat for this third period. Damn, look at BC. Look at the shot count. What did they have? Three shots after the first period? Yep. They got 12 in the second. Jeez. 
I, it felt like it was tilted. Absolute I didn't know it was slot. tilted that much, but wow. So six, uh, it's not your fault. You guys didn't give up 12 shots in one period in game one. It's not <laughs> your fault. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. We should have, uh, we should have had an earbud for you, and then you could have been in the party, and then you could have no. still talked to us. We could have asked you how it was. Yeah, we got a mental break. Um, <laughs> I think Dobe's DMs with me are radioactive. <laughs> Tomcat with the shot. K White up for the stop. BC coming back the other way. Got Flyers fans skating it up, looking for J Man in the zone. Trying to find that sauce. The Eagles fan, not happening. Legend for St. Cloud, trying to get it out. Got Tomcat gets bumped off by Jay. Man, little scramble in front, but St. Cloud pokes it out. Back on Flyers fan stick, gets leveled. But St. Cloud's offside, so they got to regroup. Just Zach trying to find Tomcat in the other wing. Gets the puck back himself, trying to find a snipe. Poked off his stick into the corner. BC coming back the other way now. Got Champa skating it in. Little dangle. Looking for a play. Laco back to Champa. Looking for Eagles fan. Doesn't work. Two on two the other way. St. Cloud carrying in with just Zach. Tries to snipe. Gets blocked. Tomcat up to Legends. Out of play. And a couple of really good shifts here by uh, St. Cloud. Like, I know they haven't scored, but there's a couple of close calls there. K. White made a couple of good saves, and they've just been moving it a lot better. Yeah. Yeah, getting some of that uh, energy back. Ooh, K. White, getting a little scrambly there. Uh, was going the wrong way, makes the initial stop, and then just sucks there to tap it home. Yeah, I feel like that that was our fault because we were talking about how good they were doing. So <laughs> I thought that they missed out on uh, the opportunity at first, and they had K. White sliding to the left, and then the puck came to the right and just had the whole net there to, to bang it home there. It was... Uh, is that just Zach again? Another Joe yep, NHL? Just Zach again. Yeah, battle of the Jays so far tonight in the Spotlight Series. You got J Man for BC and just Zach for St. Cloud putting a lot of goals up tonight. Been fun to watch. BC once again has to overcome a two goal deficit. Laco up to Chapa for BC. Over to Eagles. J-Man with the puck along the boards, looking for that one tee. Ooh. Kadog with the big stop on Eagles fan right in front. That was a good little play by J-Man, making that little pass off the boards, finding the Eagles fan in front. Offensive zone draw for BC right now. Eagles fan tied up. J-Man gets leveled. Tomcat coming, coming for St. Cloud. Looking for the snipe, gets blocked. Eagles fan, looking for the outlet. Drops it back to his D. Flyers fan, back up to Eagles fan. Lake on the point, little move, little rip. Three guys there to block the shot. Murph looking for the stretch, up to Jussack. We'll see, a little spin, a oh little backhand. K. White says no. Beautiful move now, but even better Yeah. Save. Jussack with the little one-on-one -on -one move. Great stop by, by uh, K. White. J-Man bringing back up for BC. A little spin of his own. Not sure if that was entirely necessary or if he wanted to one-up just Zach, but it doesn't work out for BC. St. Cloud, Legends. That's it. Maniac, a little backhand. A little dangerous backhand there. Just Zach with the center, but Tomcat puts it right in K. White's pads. We got seven minutes left in the third period. BC needs to find some offense if they want to force that overtime. Oh, it's coming. Tampa around the boards. <laughs> J-Man recovers, bumped off the puck, gets it back. Behind the net, looking for the one tee to Eagles fan, but that gets blocked. J-Man with, oh, poked off his stick. We got Maniac. We got a good back check by Laco, and then... A good play by a uh, Flyers fan to pick that. Chompa looking for the outlet. I don't. I think he thought it was offside, but I don't think it was offside. It looked like the linesman's arm was down. We got Laco once again for BC. Over to Chompa. 
Right wing boards just puts the shot on that for Kadog. Probably looking for a rebound. But Kadog uh, holds it for the whistle. And we got 312 left. Yeah, we're starting to run out of a bit of time here to get that OT, but I still have some faith here. Ooh. Eagles fan with a good chance from the slot. J Man trying to bring it, but three St. Cloud players are there. To shut that down. Ciampa looking for a center. That gets blocked. Laco looking for a center. J-Man for the uh, Clapper also gets blocked. St. Cloud. Tomcat. Ooh. If he held that for a second longer, I think that might have been a goal. He had the defenseman scrambling to try to get back. Tomcat behind the net. BC. 45 seconds left. On the attack. J-Man trying to do the L2 in front. Does not work. J-Man once again with the puck, looking for a snipe, looking for something. Tries to snipe, it gets blocked. Good block by Tomcat, but he loses the puck to Eagles fan, behind the net. J-Man loses the puck. BC looking to pull the goalie. I think they did that too late. There's only 15 seconds on the clock now. And they returned it anyway. J-Man in front. Looks like that got blocked. Looks like BC is just going to run out of time here. Laco looking for one last play. And uh, looks like Flyers fan once again seals his, uh, not a hat trick, I'm sorry, but at least his uh, third point of the night. Yeah, this is, this is a bit nutty here. 2.2 seconds left. Do you believe <laughs> they need a, is it that they nutty? need a is it, is it that clapper nutty? from center ice? <laughs> to just find a way uh, in and they're back in this need St. Cloud to accidentally pull the goalie is what they need <laughs> but hey good fight there by BC like they had a bunch of chances there bodies were flying getting shots on net they just St. Cloud did a good job of just ooh they did try they did. it they did that was actually on net until it hit that defenseman <laughs> yep yep <laughs> uh, yeah they clawed their way back um I don't know what it is about these two teams. I said there there should be a lot of offensive fireworks tonight, and you had, what, 11 goals in game one between the two teams and nine goals in this game, so 20 goals in the night. Yeah, honestly, I, I gotta offense, say, I thought it was games. gonna be the exact opposite, especially just given the defensive pedigree from BC. I thought they would have tried to force it to be a little bit more of a low-scoring affair, but that is not what happened in either game, so. I mean, I. Yeah, I mean, I saw BC's uh, goals against uh, going into this game, but then I saw all their matchups against, like, St. Cloud. And I don't know, something about St. Cloud just brings out the wackiness yeah. in them. They just, they just love to score when they play St. Cloud. So, I, uh, you know, good on them. They found their offense. Uh, good on St. Cloud for answering in a big way, capping their losing streak, um, eking out that 5-4 win. Had just Zach with the hat. He had Tomcat with four points from the right wing. J-Man only held a one goal. I don't know. It might hurt his uh, MVP uh, of the night chances. I don't know what you yeah, think. It's kind of tough just because the way that the series were split. Uh, or it was split and like yeah. there's goals kind of from everyone. Like for me, I'm thinking, so J-Man, great first game. Eagles fan was actually very good in both games. But um, yeah. also Flyers fan came alive in game two. Um, and then if you look at uh, St. Cloud's point of view, um, just Zach is great, making a lot of good plays, getting some snipes off. And um, I don't know, like, honestly, I thought that Murph looked really, really good. And I think that it was a bit game changing to have him um, uh, on the point just to, be yeah. able to get those breakout passes. He had a couple of like really nice sauce passes on the breakout. Um he, he definitely helped solidify the defense in game two. It, it, they were definitely up to the task. I mean, you know, BC had more time on attack and more shots than St. Cloud, and it looked like, you know, you could have told me that St. Cloud had more shots and more time on attack with how stout their defense was. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. It, it's, it's tricky. Yeah, and I think with that... Let's see. Does that put them in first place? I believe that puts Boston College back in first place with that series. 
Yeah, because they have the tie break against you guys, yeah. right? Yeah. I don't know how. And they yeah. get the, it's three points for a win. Yeah, so just looking at it now, yeah, they would take top spot again. Well, well, exciting night for all those BC fans. Yeah, uh, six times. I don't know if you want to try and bring anybody in here for a post game interview, or um, if there's anything else that you wanted to anybody touch. Anybody wants to, I'm sure they they can. Let us know, or eagles, or yeah, let's try to bring in eagles or K dog, K dog, and then we can finally learn how to pronounce it. Is it K dog? Because like I feel like it should be like <laughs> I call him K dog, yeah, A Y or K A Y, A dog, <laughs> or just a dash. <laughs> K dizzle. But yeah, six. So I guess you were in game one too. Like, do you have a MVP in mind or guys that you're thinking about could be? I thought all the guys that you mentioned were pretty good. I thought Flyers fan was also like part of what frustrated us in game one. So we also had a good game two. And then J Man obviously had a great game one and game two. And then Eagles fan, I also thought was pretty good from what I've seen and playing against him. So. Yeah, and then, you know, obviously the St. Cloud guys, who was it, just Zach, who had the three, and then Murph did well. I, thought, I basically agreed with everything that you guys said. Uh, hard to say. I would say BC kind of gave the more consistent performance of the night, so I'd lean towards probably giving one of their guys the MVP. Yeah, I'd say, if anything, probably Eagles fan. He had a few points on the night for game two. Um, yeah, you know, I was going to say the same thing. I was going to go with Eagles fan. It's great the dot, too, I think, at least in game and one. I think that Eagles fan solidified it with that backhand pass over to the J-Man. Yeah. That was pretty nifty, uh, I have to admit. Yeah, that was real nice. He had me yeah. fooled. I thought he was shooting there for sure. But... <laughs> yeah, they all worked together so well. It was kind of like when we had the Michigan DU series where it was like, if it's going to be a Michigan guy, it's hard to pick because they're all contributing to each other, you know, like when uh when Flyers fan shoots it and he gets tipped, you know what I mean? So he has to be there to tip it and get the fuck yeah. to him and they're all working together. I can't keep sure, people wrong sure. with any of those guys. Alright, no bites yet, let's see. Oh the Eagles fan is gonna join us. <laughs> That's very exciting. Okay, so he is in the audience. How do we do it? Bite to speak. Then he's got to accept he's it. Here. Eagles fan, can you hear us? Nailed it. Eagles fan, can you hear us? <laughs> well, he's sorting that out. Uh, <laughs> he probably can hear us. Oh, he's left and he's probably restarting <laughs> something. Figuring it out. I wonder if he's on his oh. phone. He must be having some technical difficulties <clears throat> but yeah i was happy that game two was like very exciting like you know a lot of goals in game one but it was all on one side but i thought that the, the pace and the, the play was uh very entertaining there for game two I wasn't really sure how it was gonna shake out yeah i mean you know st cloud responded in a big way um got out to that early lead that really set the tone for them you guys hear me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, now we go. All right. So, how you feeling after those two games? What were your thoughts of how things went? Depressing second game after the way that first game went. <laughs> Hats off to the St. Cloud for pulling it together there. I think they had some forward come in who wasn't in the first game. They had some nice dangles. Uh, I think the five points they scored was the most we gave up this year. So, hats off to them on the second game. Yeah, yeah, they had some great pressure on you guys. Yeah, I thought that, uh, you know, they were scrambling for an ECU for game number one. You kind of expected them to, mm -hmm. you know, be a little bit messy off the bat, and you guys got some quick goals on them in, in game one and kind of got away from them as the game progressed. But uh, uh, what can you say about uh, your your line mate and J-Man? He, uh, he was flying tonight. 
Oh yeah, he uh, he always pulls off some goals that make me go like, what the heck? How do you even think to do that? And then he has some other plays that I also go, what the heck? So it goes both ways. But pulled off some uh, that one in the first game that he came up off the rush and pulled his stick back and then sniped at top corner. I thought was his best play. Yeah, yeah, I thought that uh, J Man was doing a really good job of just getting to his spots and getting the shots that he wanted. And uh, in game number one, it felt like he just couldn't miss. Like he was just sniping yeah. and sniping. Everything was working. Yeah, every time the puck got on his stick. So we got to ask you in game one, uh, you were, were you trying to bank it off the goalie's blocker down his back? Did you call that shot before you shot it? <laughs> I was just test. I, as I like to say, you got to test the goalie's tightness so he doesn't start overcommitting too much for the one timers. So yeah. I like to do that, and was not expecting it to work quite like that. But got the job done. Well, we did see you get another crack at a very similar shot, and you actually put it in more cleanly into the corner that time. I feel like that's what you were trying to do on the first goal, but okay, yes. that's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> Take them any way you can get them, right? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, and can you can you walk us through that that uh, one assist that you had in game number two? A little behind the back oh, that was over guilty. to J Man one T clean shot in. Like, were you looking for that the uh, whole way, or like, how did you see that play? I was. Yeah, my the way I play before I even get the puck, I'm already looking over. I think that's one of my better skills is being able to just get rid of it right away as soon as I get it. So I was looking the full way for that one. I knew J Man loves to be in the spot. Yeah, he was there all night making havoc for uh, the St. Cloud, St. Cloud goalie. Yeah, he had us ooing and aahing in the booth after that one. Like we, <laughs> for me, like you, you deked but, me out. I thought you were shooting there. It looked like it, and then you just <laughs> well, especially after I did shoot some of them short side earlier too. So worked out. But speaking of the goalie, hats off to uh, I think it was K Dog. Is he their goalie? He I thought he played, better than eight, he played better than the 800 save percentage. We had some higher quality shots, and he was saving a bunch oh, of them. Oh yeah, though he made some big saves uh, on you and J Man. A couple of them like right in tight so that I thought would go in, like these little quick little one T jams sort of that uh, he made some big big saves on. Yeah. Yeah, K, K Dog is uh, actually looking to talk too. I think he's got his ha his hand up to speak, Coach. Should we uh, get the uh, St. Cla Cloud guy in with the uh, BC guy? Let's or? do it. Let's do it. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see how. Yo, yo. What's up? Is it yo, K Dog? K Dog. K Dog. It's K Dog. It's okay. It's a nice there in that uh, second game there, K Dog. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Oh, he left. I, th I think he might have <laughs> left by mistake. We're gonna try to uh, get him back in here. He just wanted to correct oh, his name. God, he was out. Oh, you're good. You're good. You you played a great game number two. Actually, even in game one, I thought that some of the goals were just kind of uh, unlucky that that went in. But uh, yeah, we... yeah. How did you see the games from your point of view between the pipes? Well, the first game we didn't go as planned, so. We brought in Murph, who's one of our top defensemen, and he really was shutting things down. Yeah, Murph definitely locked it down for you guys. Yeah, I thought Murph was had some big blocks was for a you. Big difference for you guys. We were discussing it a little bit earlier, but that uh, some of his outlet passes, stretch passes, were pretty nasty, and he was doing a good job of just locking it down defensively too. Yeah, for sure. Yo. Yo, Eagles fan, you uh, you banked it off my blocker on my back. What the heck? <laughs> hey, man, the bank was open. I saw the sign and I decided to go on in. He said he called bank before he shot it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I thought it was a good series, guys. I thought you both played really well. Like, I know that uh, for you guys, K-Dog and um, St. Cloud, you guys were missing a couple of yours top snipers and i know that like bear bear he's at the top of the uh the scoring in in the league mm -hmm. right now so did you guys know you weren't going to have him in today or was this kind of like a last minute was that part of the ecu process yeah we knew buck wasn't going to be around and he's one of our top scorers also bear bear was out he had other things going on but just zach really stepped up for us scoring a lot yeah no couldn't agree more yeah he was huge yeah it was a big night if uh, your handle started with Jay, I'll say that. Both those guys, Jay Man and Just Zach, came up big for both mm -hmm. teams. They're both sure. very similar, too. They just come in and then those, they're both right-handed shots, both like that glide to the middle and go for the snipe, and they got some clean looks. 
But I guess like from your point of view, yeah, K Dog, sure. when you see a guy like that, like J Man floating in the slot, like what are you thinking? Like do you feel like you have to be aggressive on it? Are you thinking that you have to guess left or right? Or like how do you play those shots? Yeah, for sure. Like after that first game, when he came in and shot every time, I was coming out a lot more on him when he would cut in the zone and everything. Cause I knew he's gonna come in and try to snipe it, which he's, he's got a good shot on him. So I, so I agree with them shooting. Yeah, I thought you guys did a good job of shutting him down in, in game two. Cause the only goal he got was that behind the back pass from uh, Eagles fan there uh, for a clean one t. But I don't think anybody could have really stopped that one to be honest. But um, oh yeah, that was that was a great play by them. Nothing nothing we could have done there. Just a great play. Yeah. Yep. yep. But uh, well, yeah, I don't know. Here's uh, here's hoping if you guys uh, meet in the playoffs because these games were a lot of fun to watch tonight. That's yeah, for sure. Yeah. Right, I got to run. Thanks for having me yeah, on. No here. problem. Thanks for joining. Yeah. Good games, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, dog. Good game. Well, See you good games, K Dog. Well, I guess now is more or uh, a good time to announce who the MVP is of this series. So we were talking about it just before you jumped in here, Eagles fan, that you've been awarded the MVP of the series for a year. <laughs> oh, I think Consistent you. play between both games, getting goals and assists. And I was saying earlier that uh, for me, you got my vote when you made that pass behind the back. <laughs> that sealed it for sure, 100%. <laughs> Yeah, I, th I think he could have went a few different ways here, but I'll, I'll take it. So. <laughs> J-Man looked really strong in game one, but he only had one goal in game two, and, you know, it was off your great play, and I think that tilted the scales in your favor. <laughs> yeah, and we're saying also a good runner-up there was Flyers fan. I thought that he played really, really well in game number two especially. And yeah, and on, and on the uh, St. Cloud side, like we were saying, Murph, Justak, two, two guys coming up huge for them. Whoever came in for game two, they could have been considered MVP. Yeah, uh, that new D-man, and I think that got just Zach was either them doing the dangles. Yeah, he was in yeah, both yeah. games. Um, it was Tom Cat uh, that yeah. moved up from right D to right wing uh, for their team, but they, yep. he was looking gotcha. good too. He was good holding the puck, making good plays. Um, yeah, and I forgot who, who was it? Um, was it just Zach that got that poke goal too on uh, K White? I think it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was kind of all over. Oh, that, that was a tough one to swallow. That was yeah, just unlucky. it was a or bit unlucky, but it was also a good skill play by them. It just, it was unfortunate that yeah, K White really just happened that. to be moving a tiny bit at that same moment. Yeah, and that's yeah. that's what made it go in. But, yeah. um, but yeah, I guess anyway. we'll uh, cut it off here. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for listening, everybody in the audience. Thought that it was great games and can't wait for the next Spotlight series. Thank you guys for announcing and Dobe for sitting with us an hour to set up the stream. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> I'm just happy that you guys got it figured out. And I don't think J Man was lagging. It didn't look like it, even though he was streaming. No, he didn't so, say anything about it. Yeah, I think that uh, it's all good. It's all good. It all worked out in the end. All right, see you guys. Take Have care. Good night. You too. Night, everybody.